Hello, everyone. Welcome to Google Watch 2017. It's the semifinals, top 500K versus SGT May. I am Luxury, and with me is Ivy. Sorry, I had the stream volume on. I got extremely confused. I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Top 500K, uh, as you know, is currently undefeated, having lost zero maps throughout their entire run in this tournament. Um, wait, sounds good to me, or 500K? Top 500K. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they've lost absolutely nothing. Well, I don't know their map score, but they haven't lost any any series, which is ridiculous. Sounds good to me, on the other hand. Um, they only lost one, so they're not... They're also, like, up there. And sound good to me... Oh, never mind, sorry. Ignore me. I was going to say something wrong. No, I think we're just... Uh ironing out some audio issues. We're going to start shortly on our first map, Ilios Control. But uh, some of the some of the players to watch out for, at least on the Sounds Good to May side, is uh, Chaos Shade, who was just uh, getting getting a lot of very early picks in, the in their last match against their opponents. Yes, he's a very good DPS character. Um... He, I remember watching the game against Matamata. His Reaper was very scary. He would just pop out from behind and just take down their back lines. Whereas Top Armor K, I remember uh, last time uh, Ruff, Ruffle Mal had a very good Junkrat. It would be interesting to see if he, he pulls that out today. Uh, yeah, their Junkrat, um, I specifically remember on King's Row, was just absolutely destroying the other team, um, which was very interesting to see such a powerful Junkrat. I think I think that's the first time I've seen one in this tournament. Oh, looks like we are starting. Now arriving at Ilios. Now, Ilios is very good, you know, is a very good map for for fair play, so that would be interesting to see if Rafamal goes goes Junkrat and if it is indeed countered by by a Fera. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, uh, sounds good to me. Chaos Shade is a very good Fara, um, but Top 500K also has a really good Soldier, so. They might have a counter for this already. This is a very far friendly map, though. It's a strange comp um, that we're, we're seeing from, from Top Armor K here. Yeah, I don't trust any comps five seconds before the game starts. <laughs> yeah. People like to play around beforehand. I don't know if they do it just to mess with anybody watching or to mess with each other, but yeah, I think uh, Top 500K's comp is not going to be sticking. There we go. ZX showing the now. shoulder, which makes sense. Judge or not on Lucio. Ruffle both teams running one. Lucio. Lucio is very important for a control map, getting to the point first. Also both and Ruffle Mount is going to show, is going to come out with the Junkrat. Both teams are running Mercy also, which is absolute must in the current meta. So like fights are breaking out now right in front of the point. Sounds good to me. It does, is running a Pharah. Pharah does get pet. Let's get a pick, but uh, we have Rezes coming out. Still fairly even. Sounds good to me. Is making their way onto the point. And they seem to be getting the better of this exchange so far, but no! Chaos Shade getting two picks. Just like that, the tide turns. Yeah, I think the pick there on the Mercy was very important. Um, she already res at that point, but uh, aw, where's her of fell off the edge? Yeah. I was like, was, um, was he trying to reset there? No. <laughs> they won the fight. Yeah, probably one of those like got moved off and no one came to the edge. Um, he just be 
going went back to, to fetch Farah. But they're kind of a little bit out of position. See if they see if Tarkin can capitalize on this. Oh, Farah gets the better of the exchange with the, uh, with the soldier. Is quickly rezzed, but now they do have the advantage in the ability that they have the res while top 500k does not. Oh, Tire comes out, gets a, gets a pick. Chaos Shade is able to to get the uh, the mercy on top 500k. It still looks like a it still looks like Sounds Good Amaze is, is getting the better of this fight. But with a few picks, Top Hammer K appears to be turning a tide here. Sound Barry comes, comes out. out. And they Ooh, get Rick to Takes down two, but Brian gets taken down. The res comes out on the Roadhog. Valkyries pop. Ooh, this actually well, the might... Valkyrie, yeah. That Valkyrie uh, really really solidified it for Top Armor K there. Valkyrie's just so strong right now. You get all the you get all the extra reses plus the uh, the extended healing to your team. On top of the fact that you're um, you're very difficult to kill as Mercy when you're in Valkyrie form. Sounds good to me going into this fight has Grav and Diva Bomb along with Valkyrie though. Whereas uh Top 500k spent everything. Ooh, Tire comes out and Tire gets off out. though with with Grav. I don't see a res coming out for that. Sorry, I might, might consider resing him. Oh, no, actually, yes, yeah, it's too late now. And then Bar oh. goes down. Or sounds good to me. Seems like they're not really committing to this. Oh, Chaos Shit goes down, even though he got the, the Mercy. The res brings him back in. No, it looks like Zara is saving. Change. And he doesn't seem to, to have used his ult yet, either. But so far it seems to be working as they... Maintain yeah, they their presence on point and flip it. They didn't commit any ults to that and ended up flipping it. Um, which was interesting because at the beginning of the fight they were just kind of surrounding the point but not really going in so I honestly didn't think they were committing to it after losing My last fight for top 500 k going yeah, into this they have... oh, early pick on the mercy yeah. that's huge grab comes that's out oh and they're not even able to contest as sounds good to May takes the first map I play with uh with mob quite a bit and Mob's wall grabs have been getting very good. Mob's very good at about using grab to keep people off the point at the very end there. Which is exactly what happened. Yes, very good play from him. Um, I did just notice that the setup of the game appears not to be in competitive mode. Not that I think it matters because uh, the time, there's no real clock in on control point. But just something to note for future rounds. Huh. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. I wonder how many dots you can get up there then. I've never seen three before. Alright, so going into this next round, it looks like both teams are running the same comps, I think? It, it looks like it, yes. This is a very good oh, fire map, too. Hog on. Did they have a Roadhog? I on the first one, I Oh, Soldier goes down on top 500k's very early. Let's see if the res comes out for him. Oh, no. Nope. Mercy, Mercy and Rogue go down. down. Mercy was already very low when that happened. Yeah, and Soldier and died on the opposite side. It's certainly going to be a win on this team fight for Sounds Good to Me. It's like Lucio uh, for the top 500k tried to go in, but ended up deciding that was a bad idea. Got out just in time though. Looks like they're pushing now. They're engaged in a little battle with the soldier on top of K. He's kinda low and with and Pharaoh does not have the mercy with with her. 
Basement is healed up. And just some poke going on between the two teams at this choke. Chaos Shade does have a Death Blossom. Diva is demeched, and he just picks up that kill. Sounds good to me. Prayer. Death Blossom gets one. Oh, and. Gotta clean up the rest. Even yeah, with the, the res coming out there, that just wasn't enough. The, uh. They did commit quite a few ults to that. Uh. They used Death Blossom. They're gonna have a, have a grab coming up soon. Yeah. Also, um, top 500k switched off to Zarya. I didn't notice that at first. Uh, they don't have a Roadhog anymore. Yeah, they switched off of Junkrat and Roadhog to Reaper and Zarya. To Reaper and Zarya. Yes. Oh. Soldier goes down and gets res immediately. Valkyrie gets popped. Valkyrie popped. What's up? And the barrier of Reinhardt's barrier on the top armor K gets broken right before Diva ult pops. And that gets two, and that should do it. That's two rounds going to Sounds Good to May. Hmm, what do they... What does top 500k have to do at this point to turn this into their favor? One shot, one kill. Well, they might consider running Widow here, to, because this is a pretty good Widow map, and we see Chaos Shade showing the Widow, actually. So if there's anybody on Top Hunter K who can play Widow, this is probably time to pull it out. But they're actually showing a Junkrat still, which is interesting because Junkrat was not particularly effective. Um, the tires were getting picks, but they would just get rezzed. Also, something to notice they're running triple DPS now with uh, a Zen instead of a Lucio. Right, and which means they're going to get to the point slower. To and Junkrat goes down, top of K. Are they going to res him? Yes, they are. Yes. Looks like Ryan's holding up a shield, but no one's really playing around it. Top 500k doesn't even have a chance yeah. to get on the point. Yeah, they have no presence on the point, and that's that's really that shows the importance of having a Lucio on your choke point. Because if you get to the point first, the enemy team has to push you off. Barra got very low, and it was actually killed by her own, own rocket. Uh, Winston took out Widow, and then Chunkrat took out Lucio. Lucio, so. Top armor K should be getting this. Once the mercy goes down, there's there's very there are very few shenanigans that can come out. Yeah, especially when the other team still has their mercy. They've got the advantage there with the res. And that's just that's why mercy is such a must pick right now. Yeah. Looks like uh. Sounds good to me, swapping off the Widow back to Reaper. Ooh, Junkrat goes down to Fara. Natural enemy of all Junkrats. <laughs> yeah. The Fara rest does comes go down. down. On both sides. To bring back both Fara and Junkrat. Uh, Fara almost died to the tire there, but Mavo goes down to it instead. Sounds good to me, cap the point there. They, uh... Successfully pushed up and pay off. It's interesting. But they are down. They are down a good number of players. And with the trance and the and the Valkyrie coming out from top armor K, they should be able to retake this fairly quickly. Yeah, they're taking down quite a few people. On Sounds like Mace Mercy is trying to contest. Just, uh, they're just trying to delay as much as possible and get as much percentage out of the point as possible before they, they do lose have it. a sound barrier in a bit once Lucio comes back, but it looks like they're all down now, so that goes I mean, it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a too bad of a, a delay there. It did get a good amount of percentage going. 
Looks like into this next fight, uh... Sounds good to me, has both support ults, but... Top 500k has... Attack Visor... Earth Shatter and Tyre. Oh, Tyre's coming out. Sunbury comes out from SG teammate. Tyre didn't get anything. The attack is just gonna come out. It's gonna exert a lot of pressure on Sounds Good and May. Adversity's taken down and then res. But then Far goes down. Fire, fire goes down. Soldier doing his job. <laughs> D with D-Mac too. Can't tell if Sounds Good to May is uh, committing to this. Looks like they are with the Death Blossom. Ooh. But, uh, but <laughs> kill the Death Blossom kills the Junkrat, but he My dies to the, uh, the grenades. Yeah, but oh, Shatter gets two. And they, they both Ooh. fall. This looks like uh, Top 500k is going to be getting this round here. Yeah. But... Some desperation from Tess. Once a uh, tracer goes down, they should have it. Yeah, Valkyrie's popped to try to get back to the point, but not in time. So what changed? Was it the Winston? That made the difference in the Zen? Possibly. I mean, initially, not having a Lucio really hurt them. Oh, in terms of positioning. I think the Winston helped, and the the Junkrat seemed to be getting more value from his from his grenades. And the soldier was able to kill the Pharaoh uh, more consistently. One round four. We'll see if they're able to, re to replicate their success on this map, which they lost before. Yeah, it looks like Sounds Good to Maze running the same comp. But Top 100k is going back to the triple DPS setup they had before. Oh, they're not running the Winston, you're right. And, and they're still not running a Lucio, which means they're gonna be they're gonna lose that opposition here. And they're still down a man even after a res on the Junkrat. Oh, and then Mercy's taken out, followed by Reaper. That Sounds good to me. Should take this first capture. I'm on fire. <laughs> Junkrat's taken out again. Yeah, and that—that's pretty. That's pretty bad because that's, that's a stagger. A stagger. So they're gonna have to wait for him to, to rejoin the team before Top Five and K can make an earnest push here. They're gonna Looks go like onto there's... the the side route here, but Chaos Shade is right above. Raining down damage. Oh, and Zaro goes out of position and is immediately taken out. That is that's really huge. Then Top Iron K is gonna need to, to take advantage of this. They're going to win this win this map. They are taking out the DPS on Sangha and Tamei's side though, so. Yeah, things are looking pretty good for them so far. But Zaro is has managed to get back to the team. Though he needs though probably needs to avoid uh getting too close as he is taken out by the junk rat, just as I say that. Valkyrie is popped. Yeah. And that should seal this fight for Top Hammer K. I don't see how they can sounds good to me is gonna be able to counter that. They did get it all the way. Yeah. So they should only need this probably fight. Two, maybe two, probably line. two fights. You think so? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Two fights. Tiger comes out, but is taken out before it can get anybody. Not really getting any value out of these tires. That's pretty Ooh, impressive, actually. Move. As as a reaper, you can't you you imagine that as when he saw the tire, it would have been right in front of him. Yeah, one shot. Ooh, Zara goes down early again, yeah, so they're gonna so this fight. With, with these death possum. I think by the time Zara went down though, they'd already taken down 
Yeah, they take it down enough enough of uh, Tasha Rikay to, to be able to, to take this point here, even though they didn't take out the Mercy. My ultimate is ready. Sometimes yeah. you just need to get three picks, and then you win the fight. Doesn't matter if you have Mercy or not. <laughs> yeah, I think at that point, they had it. Um... Once Top Iron K regroups here, this should be the, the last fight, unless they unless they win it. And Sounds Good May is going to have an ultra advantage coming into it. But they're able to get Zaro early on. And adversity. Oh, but the oh, rocket barrage takes out half barrage. of them. Yeah. And Cars it's taken out, one on the point. <laughs> and the Zen is just gonna get taken out. And map number one goes to... Sounds good to me. That was, a. Uh, that was interesting there at the end. Top Farmer K's first map loss in this tournament. Oh, you're right, it is. Fire at will. Die, die, die. I mean, that's so gotta that? be a psychological, you know, there's gotta be a psychological factor to it, because because Top Farmer K has, up to this point, has, must have been used to used to winning Epic. all their all their maps. It's nice yeah, I'm curious to see if that was just like... I don't know. What do you think? I found that uh, when I was watching at least, it seems like the Rhine had it shield up but nobody was really playing around it. Um, and there were a lot of times where Ryan was kind of getting bullied by Farah with his shield up. Um, yeah, their comp seems to, to do fairly poorly against Farah's. Um, they're really mostly reliant on on the soldier to to keep Farah in check. Um, it looks like the next map is going to be Numbani, where uh, Top Hundred K is going to defend. That was a very very quick choice. I wonder if they talked about this beforehand, the... or they just like Numbani. Maybe they have a secret strat. I mean, usually, when when a team picks a map that quickly, it's it's because they have some kind of strategy specific to that map. Or if you know, maybe they, they practice on that map and they have particular methods of entry for attack or particular positions for defense, things like that. Or it could just be a comfort pick. Who knows? Yes, uh, we need to switch the setup here to, to make sure the game is in comp mode. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to automatically switch over once uh, a round is done. There you go. Looks like they have fixed it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I think it may have been the far that they were struggling with, you're right. Especially because, like, there is a mercy on it, and then they just have, uh, they just have the soldier to deal with both the far and the mercy. Um, as Yeah, and to... soldier's not going to be able to do that. Yeah. Especially once Valkyrie comes up. Soldier's not going to be able to handle because it'll take Soldier a long time just to just to to kill Mercy and when she's in that state. And while that's happening, Farah is free to to land her two shots on on Soldier. Yeah, I'm really curious to see if Top 500K has like some kind of special strat that they run on this map, but it looks like they're just going. The same comp that they ran last time. Yeah, it's possible it's just a comfort pick. Nick is going to be on the Roadhog instead of instead of the Reaper. 
They're still running the Junkrat though. Very, very tied to this Junkrat. Which has definitely helped them in previous games. But, uh, if. I mean, it's possible that they didn't really run into any teams that had good Pharaohs. Yeah. And it's also possible that Far Mercy was not as strong as it is right now with the Mercy changes. Far is a popular pick on this, at least this point of this map. So, yeah, looks like uh, Sounds Good to Me is going to be running the Far Mercy. But with Mob on uh, Lucio and Adversity on Zara, that's interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting change on their part. Chaos Shade is going to be on the Genji, which makes sense. You know, he's very vertical. Genji's going to be able to exploit that enemy better. Looks like Sounds Good to me is all running top left. Actually, or wide left. left. Take down the Junkrat early. The crap is, but it's rezzed. Rezzed coming out both sides. Fight is now reset effectively. Yeah. And the first pick goes to top 500k, but then they get picked by two. So this is now in Sounds Good to Me's favor. favor. Oh, yeah, and another. Oh, they took down the Mercy. Oh, but both Mercies go down. <laughs> this fight. But Sounds Good to Me has a spawn advantage and they take out Junkrat, so I think they're going to get this point very quickly. That was, uh. It was really interesting that Farah hit the Ryan at the same time that the Genji dashed through him. I can't imagine that was planned, but. Ooh, Farah goes down, though. But they'll have the very close. Spawn, so I don't think that's going to hurt them much. At least the soldier took out the fair, so he's got that going for him. Coming out the streets phase here. The junk right on top of K was looked like he was trying to go for a wide flank of some kind. Thought better of it. Tires coming out. Doesn't get anybody again. And it looks Farah like took a out soldier there earlier, um, but he was rezzed. This so Pharah has been getting the better of the uh, of the soldier duels so far. It seems soldier has killed the Pharah a few times, but Zara goes down. Uh... Yeah, and soldier goes down again. When the blade comes well, out, the blade though, comes goes out. straight for Zenyatta. Takes down... Two. Pretty much everybody. Uh, and he gets taken down by soldier, though. But it's just Mercy, then... Gear on the point. Mercy popped, uh... Contact. Popped Valkyrie there. Which I question, because it didn't seem to do much. Yeah, the chain wasn't healing really wasn't really available. They are contesting it right here at the end, though. Uh, oh, Barrage comes out. Doesn't get anybody. This game dies to, to uh, Zen. Oh, the grab comes Zen. out. Diva bomb. Diva bomb. Oh, Ryan, you need to turn your shield around. <laughs> Took out the mercy. Turns around just in time, but it still gets the mercy. Yeah. Maybe really all you need in that situation. They did get the point since the grab. Kept them off the point. Yeah, that's true. Then just went Top down K well. is building a, a large number of alts here. Let's get you back in the it may just be that they never had a chance really to, to use them. Because they weren't. They were rarely a full six after the first point. We still need Hammer, uh, Earth Child comes out and kills Diva, but doesn't really get anyone else. But it looks like Sound Kodume is going to back out since it's just. Zarya and well now it's just Zarya. Get down. They're gonna have both uh, defense alts. The tire comes out and gets the Zarya. Ah, oh, and sounds good to me. Hmm, I wonder if the res is not coming out. Is it Zarya res recently? Uh, I'm not sure. It might just be that he's, he's he just thinks that it's better to, to wait for the reset. Huh. 
It's like Winston's trying to get far, but it backs out. That was up top. Dragonplay comes out, Chaos Shade. Valkyrie pops in response. The play gets nothing. They did get a little push on the cart, but Top 100k is collapsing back on it. Uh, sound Barrier comes out for Sounds Good to Me. But not before uh, Chaos Shade is picked by the Junkrat. Followed by Fara. Fara gets res, so. And Valkyrie's popped for Sounds Good to Me. But at this point, Sounds Good to Me is not in a particularly good position. Substruct comes out, gets no one. Looks like they're still trying to fight this, though. They did take out the Winston behind, but uh, it's yeah. only two of them there against the other five. Sounds good. It seems though. like they're trickling a bit. <laughs> but for some reason, Top Armor K is falling back. I mean, they did lose. They lost yeah, Winston, actually. but it was. Yeah, was, they, weren't at, they weren't at six, but. Earth Shatter comes down against Zarya. <laughs> Poor Diva walks in front of the charging Ryan. But now Ryan is you behind the team. Grav comes out. Grav comes out. There's no. Uh, Comboed with the Death Blossom, but that's pointless because. The trance is, is, a, is a full effect there. Visor comes out on top of Armor K side, gets to. And sounds good to me, it looks like they're still going to be held back. Ooh, Mercy goes down there at the end for sounds good to me. It's an important st stagger. Followed and, by uh, Zarya. They're just having a lot of time wasted. Time to raise my APM. Do these picks. APM no, never that. It's like going into this next fight, uh, we've got the Faro ults. Both the... teams will have, have, have Valkyrie, so it's coming out likely soon. to be likely to be a very drawn out fight. Kaoshi gets picked once again by, by the Junkrat. My ultimate is ready. Oh, Adversity switched onto Ryan off of Zarya. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Lucio was moving the point by himself and Top 500k was Distracted by Farah, maybe? Tyre comes out and kills Lucio. Sounds good to me, he's gonna have to back out of this, but... They only have a minute left. They, they might want to do a dry push here. I don't know, they don't have time for a dry push anymore. Valkyrie's popped for top 500k. Ooh, that was a big shatter there for uh, Sounds Good to Me, but the. Barrage comes up, gets no, no one, even though he got the soldier before. Shatter comes out, gets two, gets one Valkyrie. kill. Valkyrie comes out for Sounds Good to Me. Diva Bomb comes out, doesn't get anyone. Down Barry was popped as well. Mercy goes down for top 500k. There's a Ryan battle going on. Sounds good to me. It looks like they have the advantage. Attack Visor oh, comes out. Countered by the... The Earth Shatter, the Earth Shatter. But Ryan is way out of position right now for Sounds Good to Me. He's trying to counter the Bastion, I think, but... There's only Lucio and Farah on the point. And that's uh, He wasn't there to, to protect his team, and... While he was out of position, his entire team was, was basically killed. And Sounds Good May is going to get held just about halfway between second and third. Yeah, the, that, the battle for the third point was, uh, was very, very chaotic in a lot of these engagements. I feel like there were too many times where it sounds good to me kind of were poking and trickling and all kinds of stuff. They weren't grouping up there and yeah, they didn't get picked and kind yeah. of continue to commit. Yeah, it seems like they, they lost a little bit of discipline there. I think they did come together for that last push, but uh, I think the Ryan 
charging out ended up costing them. He wasn't there to help them with top 500 Ks, Ryan and Soldier. Indeed. Be one with the universe. I mean, the Earth Shatter before was per was was a good idea to to negate the attack visor from the Soldier there. Try not to get yourself yes, that completely there. shut it down. But charging um, in was was probably a little buzzed. Yeah, I feel like there's a very thin line for Ryan's on uh, how aggressive to be. <laughs> it's like you can be a little too defensive and just hold your shield up, but if you dive too much and charge, it can also be a bad thing. Yeah, it's, it's something I struggle with myself. Yeah, I'm an overly defensive Ryan, personally. <laughs> um, but... Looks like, uh, Four, sounds good to me, it's running a pretty standard comp here. One, keeping the pharmacy, attack, except they have Mav on Mercy now and Zaro on Sin. They're running Ryan Roadhog as their tank. And Top Fire K is just gonna run a very familiar comp. With Nick on the Roadhog. The Joker out of attack. Looks like they're going bottom left. Nick is taken out early. The Drez. Oh, the top one okay, loses their mercy. And they may have to back out. Yeah, Varane goes down, Junkrat, and uh. Yeah, they're going through the, the bottom corridor there. And that was probably not a great idea with, with all the, the Ferris spam going into that little choke. On the other hand, they're running a Junkrat, so... That is true. Going through the corridor with a Junkrat, I feel like, is in their benefit. But it looks like they're gonna be going oh. far left this time. Oh, well, no problem. not great at breaking chokes. He's really That's good at defending them, so... If you wanna go through a choke, having a Junkrat... It's not, it's not terrible, but... It's not great either. Oh, Earth Shatter! Oh, that two. is huge. Can They're they get, Ryan. Can move they get forward. Percy and, and two others, and that's just going to halt this push right in his tracks. Yeah, I think the mistake there was Ryan moved forward, and the rest of his team stood back in the choke. So, uh, sounds good to me as Ryan was able to get in between them and get that huge Earth Shatter there. Yeah, just a slight positioning error, resulting in a failed push. Looks like they are going to be going top left again. And Tall K is going to switch out the Junkrat for a Winston. And have Nick on on the uh, on the Reaper here. Let's see how that works. Attack Visor comes out, gets the Pharah. Let's see if she gets rest. Transcendence comes out. For Attack Visor comes out on on the GMA side and doesn't get anything due to the trans. Valkyrie's oh. popped on the GMA side, on both sides really. But uh, there's more of a presence for the top of K on the point here. A rock barrage comes out, gets nothing, gets killed. And... It looks like Sounds Good May is going to be pushed off this point. Yeah, Piglet's coming out here to try to just stall for as long as possible, but... To no avail, yeah. Top but Eric gets to capture. Moving on to this next point, though. Sounds Good May doesn't have their Ryan, and Top 500k has Earth Shatter. And Sounds Good May is severely behind on alts as well. This could be very bad. Uh, Raffle Mao tried to get some picks, but was alone. Ended up getting punished for that. Far goes down to the Reaper. Interesting. Probably a little bit too close to the ground. Yeah. They're getting a lot of push push right now. Oh. Oh, there's a really Death big Blossom Death Blossom. got two. And gets the Ferris, uh, gets the the Mercy shortly after. And Soldier. it looks like 
Top hammer K is gonna get point two fairly easily. They're gonna have a lot of time left for this too. Four minutes. Four minutes. A similar amount of time to when when it's just May got their got their second point as well. So let's see how well they do. Nick tries to get a few picks, but ends up getting taken down by Farah along with Winston. Taken down. Yeah, so they're That's down too. They're gonna have to back up. This is a pretty hard place to hold here. Since typically you want to hold around the corner, but around the corner is uh, one single. Yeah, Chaos Shade finds out the hard way there, it gets picked. <laughs> Both soldiers go down though, so. Oh, but. Yeah. One of them has Bez, the other doesn't. Earth Shatter comes out, gets Diva. Diva is deemed Magdal on South to SG May side. Earth Shatter comes out to counter the charge though. Bunch of bolts oh. come out. It's a Yana mating dance, etc. Mercy goes down on Sasuke to May's side, though. Garage comes out, gets one, and it's just an exchange of the exchanges are coming out. But it seems oh. to be favoring Top Hunter K. They still have four alive. No one saw the point. And has to do something quick, and it's over. they're not even able to get on point. And Top Hunter K evens the series out. A one map a piece. Oh, that was really stressful watching the, the Ryan fighting while the point was getting pushed. Yeah. Now, would you say that's a C9 or no? No, I wouldn't. How's good to was not winning that situation when the Ryan was not on the point. I think that's what. Well, draws is the line. it necessary for a team to be winning for? Well, when they get off the point to, uh... I mean, I thought I thought it was when you have the upper hand and you leave point. Um, I th I always thought it was it was if you had if you if it was possible for you to win, and it wasn't clearly lost yet. It's but you were not able to fight because you you stepped off the point, or you weren't able to reach the point in time. GP's pointing out that Ryan was never on the point to begin with. So regardless, it's not a C9. It's, it's, I mean, he was on the point, though. But I was pretty sure that like you you would win if you stayed on the point, but you got off, and that's that's why you lost. As opposed yeah, to well, like question of winning. Everyone <laughs> has their own. Yeah, I think everyone has to decide what C9 means to them personally. Most of Overwatch thinks it means when you lose. Or when you win. When you get out of point, when you get out the point, when you start playing, when you stop playing. <laughs> when you start playing the C9. <laughs> yeah, just everything is a C9. Um, Kita said that uh, C9 is something you say at the end of a match. With the intention of tilting the enemy team. <laughs> I think that's that's the real meaning of what C9 means now. Um, it looks like uh, Sounds Good to May is picking Gibraltar with attack first. Usually I see people pick defense first, that's interesting. Uh, do you... They're picking maps too soon for us to make any guesses. Yeah, there's, this is this is not a not a, a fun wagering time. I <laughs> know, they are so... For, uh, they're so ready. So decisive, it's, it's too much decisiveness going on in this match. Yeah, I feel like when we were playing, and even for the uh, Overwatch University League tournament too, whenever we... Well, I guess we haven't had to pick a map, but uh, we would always think about, like, okay, let's think about what they have and what we have and what maps can work for this. And they're just like, yeah, this is the map we're going with. That's it. Yeah. I wonder if they talked about this beforehand or they just and have yeah, maps. As, as I said like. before, I mean, it didn't seem like Top Hammer K had a uh, had had specific strategies that that they uh, that they they practice on on Numbani. It it may just be that they're they think they're good on Nuke Bunny, they have high win rate on it. And they did end up winning the map, so clearly they're, you know. Yeah, maybe it's, it's just like a rogue it. Gibraltar thing where they're just like, that's their map. Yeah, that's it's possible. But for, for SGDMA, I think Gibraltar makes a good amount of sense because most of what Top 100K is running is not very vertical, which once again makes it weird that they would pick Numbani. Yeah. 
Um, like they don't want any Genjis. They don't. They don't run. They don't. Do they run? They, they don't run Diva, right? Yeah, no, they don't. They haven't actually run Diva yet today. They do run Winston occasionally. But it seems like they kind of have to be pushed into Winston. Yeah, their com their most comfortable com comps don't really go. Uh, don't really do as well in vertical environments. So that would make sense because if Chaos Shade wants to play Genji, which he is not playing right now, and if they they want to keep going with the Ferris Strat, which they are not. <laughs> yeah, I think the I was Ferris about to have this getting... whole you know reasoning why of why why SGTMA would pick this map, but it looks like. Uh, none of that is applicable, really. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to see a Widow here, too, on attack. Oh, we um, we do see a Widow. Oh, yeah, on. we do. But just right as I said it. It's like they can hear me or something. Are you guys watching the stream? Hmm. Um, it's interesting, though, that, uh, Teeth... Oh, no, it's a far. <laughs> no, it is a far. So... Coming out, guns blazing. Start pushing the payload immediately. It's like top five. Shay is gonna go around, try to get a few picks, and he's Taking probably gonna get, be able to get the Zen. The Zen. We still need you. They trade Zens. Reapers, both Reapers took out both Zens. So it's still five on five, uh, except no longer as the. Brian goes down, Shikume and the Pharah. The payload is getting so much free push though. Diva was just sitting on the payload while uh, yeah, and the rest of the time. So Shikume is not going to be able to, to, to win this, this fight, so they're going to have to back off. And and they're going to have to fight all, fight their way back to the back to the payload after they regroup. Mikashi is apparently trying to, trying to stealth pull and push the card here. As Mercy trades come out with reses. And uh, Soldier on, on top of K is getting in this nice elevated position and just is just getting consistent damage down on the point. Death Blossom comes out, gets one. Zaro pops uh, transcendence. So I'm not sure if this fight is winnable, but they do get the, the Mercy with the Death Blossom. This fight is Time all kinds of confusing. Time Hurricane okay, popped Attack Visor there, but uh, the Tenskinder May got a pin with their Ryan on the Ulting Soldier, and that was just huge. Top Hover okay, got a nice Earth Shatter there, took out. Yeah, this fight is just going back and forth. Alts coming out, trades. But Ooh. in the end, the Diva Bomb on the payload. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, the Diva Bomb. Everyone had to move away from it yes, because Ryan true. was not in position to barrier that. Uh, so nobody could get on the payload. But it is interesting that, like, Sounds Good to Me looks like they were losing that fight, but the Diva Bomb won it for them. Yeah, Chad has decided this several. Tides tr the tide turned several times there for for, for both, both teams. teams. Yeah, I didn't know which. Anytime I thought like, okay, this team is in the winning now, it, no. Looks like uh, they all left the payload though. The bigger Spider comes out, but well, Zoro's pushing it, but he's he's gone off the point as well. My payload. <laughs> Hello, payload. Oh, and now Winston is diving the supports and no one's there to help them out. Heroes never die. Takes down Zaro. Yeah. Sounds good to me had a good opportunity there when there was a bit of split spawn going on. Um, and Top Iron K wasn't really established yet to push this payload a lot. But I think because they weren't... They weren't positioned properly, uh, Top Iron K was able to, to re-establish themselves. Death Blossom came out and 
could have been very bad there, but he was killed before he could do any real damage. That's impressive that they killed him in time. Trance comes out for top 100k. But, uh. Oh, huge Earth Shatter! Oh! Top 100k, Counter but... Earth Shatter! Just to get the Ryan to stop him from killing anybody. Earth Shatter builds ridiculously fast, though, so. Yeah. No different that than was, trying to sleep was, a Ryan. That was well played on both sides in that exchange. Diva Bomb to clear the point again. Attack Visor comes out. Experience. For top runner cave, but it's countered by chance. Valkyrie's popped. Trying to keep the team alive here. Death Blossom came out and killed one person before, before Kashi died. And it looks like Ashivme is going to be held. Ooh, that Earth Shatter killed or, no, both the huge Earth Shatter killed two, but it's still 2v3 two two there. And now it's going to be a 1v4, favoring top 500k. So that really was kind of a wasted Earth Shatter, even though it, it did it did look impressive. Yeah, I think the two supports are going to be back in time for the next fight. And yeah, they just got here. It's like Chaos Shade was positioned on top of the spaceship to get some... Uh, yeah, the ferret went out, went forward, and take a really aggressive position to take to take out the soldier, but was taken out because she was so out of position. Death Blossom comes out on top 500k side, and it was another one of those drop down and kill everybody, but uh, it was handled well by Empress yeah, here, blocking it. River is in, kind of in the back lines here, along with the uh, along with the Winston on top 500k up uh, side. And it was fairly effective. Barrage comes out from Shime, gets two, but that's not going to be very consequential as the rest of his team is just going to die. Yeah, um, sounds good to me. Was very split in that last fight. Uh, there were a few people fighting on the point, but then once the uh, Reapers started picking apart the back lines and Ryan turned around, they got split and uh, the payload. Group continued fighting. Kashai gets a pick on the, uh, his opposing counterpart. And they're gonna engage here with a trance. Both trances come out. Oh, Earth Shatter, Earth Shatter gets two. But they beat to counter. Diva Bomb is dropped. Doesn't get anybody, but Brain does go down and gets res again. Earth Shatter gets two on Sunscreen to Maze side. Ooh, but then the Death Ooh. Blossom comes out. Actually, doesn't get anybody done. with the Death Blossom. And I think Top Fire is going to take this. Yes. I don't think anyone's going to be able to make it in time. They do have a Tracer now, but no, it's over. I think that just goes to show you just how important, uh, just how important having a Mercy is. Yeah. In um, that last fight, they they had a pretty good, you know. They used their. Sounds good to me. Use their defensive vaults fairly well. They didn't overlap them. They they went in with the transcendence, and then they, and then they pop, uh, pop sound barrier after the transcendence was finished. But having the mercy on on top of case side, um, getting those those periodic reses over the course of the fight uh, was just so impactful that they that they weren't able to to overcome that. Yeah. I also feel like they were they were getting split quite a bit. Um and again committing like half committing to pushes. Yeah, that yeah. that is also true. They were not well, I mean in the on the last fight they I, I think that was definitely a, a more a more uh, coordinated push. I think most of I mean I'm pretty sure all of uh sounds good to me was was pushing at the same time on the last on the very last fight there. So it, it actually looked pretty good for them initially, but the reses were just too much. I can't wait to get into the fight. Hmm, looks like uh get behind. we have T on Ryan now and Chaos Shade on Farah. 
with adversity on Reaper. Interesting that they're switching this up. Otherwise, uh, top 500k seems to be running similar comp to last time. I don't remember them having a Winston, but I might just have bad memory. Top 500k comes out and uh, see if let's see if this Winston is gonna dive up there. He is with the Reaper. Oh, with the Reaper, but oh, he's he gets quickly taken down. With. And again, the payload is getting a lot of free push. Teams seem to uh, forget that there is happen. an objective. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like Diva is dropping down, but she was alone there. Ryan dropped down, and now he's alone. But top 500k only has Ryan on the point right now. Top 500k did just lose their Reaper, and now the Ryan goes down. So I think this is where it's going to be held for this push. If Chaos Shade is going to be more effect, more or less effective on that, on that uh, Shara. Looks like Nick uh, goes and takes out the far up there at the top. Yeah, Chaos Arsh. Shade got a little bit cocky there. Got too close. It's like he, he does get rezzed. Totally rezzed. And uh, they took down the Mercy here early, Death and Blossom Death Blossom comes, comes out. out. Gets two and. And the Winston. Oh, and then the Reaper. Yeah, they cleaned up top 500k very nicely there. They took out the Mercy first, and then Death Blossom, the rest of the team. Looks like into this next fight, uh... Sounds good to me, we'll have Earth Shatter and Diva Bomb. They pretty much have everything, uh, except Death Blossom and... Yeah, oh, uh, uh, Top 500k is switching back to the Junkrat, which is interesting. And they're going to be running double hit scan for the Farah. Got a McCree here. They're going to come up on the top. Adversity goes in and takes out Zen, who then gets taken down. Ooh, or, so Rocket, uh, Rocket takes out, so I've saved Tail Shade on the Pharah there from, from Top Armor K's Soldier. He just popped the Tech Visor and took out two, but was killed in turn. But it will be rezzed as Top Armor K's Mercy pops her Valkyrie. And Top Armor K appears to be getting the upper hand here. Let's see if Sounds Good May can come over the test. Ooh. Oh, that's that's a feels bad as Sorrow pops the Valkyrie, but is killed immediately after. And then the barrage is counteracted by the, uh, the res, basically. <laughs> There's just a lot of mating dance going on. Pretty much at the same time, too. That was crazy. Um, ooh. Shatter comes out. Takes out Sorrow. Yes, kind of takes out Sorrow on the Mercy again. Oh, that oh, adversity with a huge death blossom. Takes out this, three. Oh, this keeps going in both directions. And it's 24, 24 seconds. seconds. They have one more fight. Oh. They have to get back Ooh, here. Oh, actually, Nick here. Oh, Nick here. Oh, but the res comes out from. On the diva. On the diva. Right and they're going to be able to come out and contest. Zara does one get last down fight. There, though. Five seconds left. I think it's going to be 5v4 on this point. 5v5 now. Attack Visor comes out from Top 500k. Oh, and they get all the kills here. And it's just going to be the Pharah as they take point number one. Ooh, now Zaro's split spawn. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out. Nope, it's taken down. Poor Zaro. Yeah. Ooh. They're gonna get quite a bit of free push here too while Sounds Good May has to regroup. Yeah, and Sounds Good May is gonna, gonna have to win this next fight. Or they're gonna lose this map. They do have two alts, possibly, possibly three. Oh, it's getting so oh, much free oh. push. 
The mob is gonna be rezzed. Self destruct comes out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it gets two. That's huge. Yeah, the earth shatter there. Earth shatter. The Make sure that no shield could be held up. Good old earth shatter. Self destruct combo. My ultimate is almost. Wow, that was nice. They did a uh, adversity switch on a Winston here, which I find interesting because I feel like adversity was actually doing quite a bit there with the Reaper. But we'll see if the uh, the Winston. Yeah, triple tank is interesting here. Yeah, they already have the Diva and the Ryan. Maybe maybe Diva with her changes could be considered more of a DPS. Winston puts in a lot of damage too, at least a lot of spread damage. Right. Ooh, they're getting boots off the point though. Barrage comes out. Barrage comes and gets one. The Valkyrie's gonna be gonna come out on top of her, her case side. And Plus trans. Trans comes out on. That's who the main side. Earth Shatter came out from top of her K. I think the trans helped with the Earth Shatter. Oh, Ooh, but the huge tire takes out both supports. And then Ryan, oh, this isn't looking good for Sounds Not Good to May. Yeah, sounds Good to May. They're gonna need a miracle hold here. Oh, they don't have... They don't have anything here. I think that's it. I think that's gonna be it. Unless... Nope. Oh, Zen? Oh. Zen Actually, comes out. The rest it's comes contest. out. Ooh, Zara made it back Zara. just in time, yeah. but... Looks... I don't know this what's is going just on. desperation here. Yeah, I don't think this for, is actually going to work. Far has to make sure to not get off the point too much. Far, both Far and Tracer are very easy to get off. Oh, and it's over there. Top K goes to match point. Oh. So now the score is two one with Top Five Hundred K having the two. So, next is hybrid? Or 2CP? I'm not sure. I believe it's 2CP. Okay. Do you have any uh, predictions? We only have a short amount of time, probably. See what Sounds Good to Me is going to pick here? Um, I think not Anubis. Epic. It's nice to be appreciated. And. I think probably, I, if I, if I were sounds good to me, I'd probably go something like Volskaya. Why is that? Well, consider well, Anubis is very good for Junkrat, and uh, Hanamura has the choke at the beginning. That's going to be very annoying to get through if if uh, if you're if you're going up against a, a good Junkrat like Top Hundred K has. Um. I mean, I feel like that could be said about Volskaya, too. Well, Volskaya, the opening is not as narrow. Um, there's a lot more open space. You do have that if truck running that a, splits it. Yeah. If you're, if you're running a fair, there's a lot of space to move around. It's fairly open. Alright, so we're guessing Volskaya, then. The Horizon could also be a good pick as well. Oh, I forgot That's about also Horizon. Very good. That's also a very good uh, fair map. Yeah, Horizon's the more open of them. Um, but I'm not sure how comfortable they are on Horizon. Most people you know, don't particularly like playing that map. I think... Uh... Oh, wow. They went Anubis. <laughs> well, that is certainly interesting. <laughs> Huh. Well, <laughs> we're bad at guessing. Well, we'll we'll see if uh, if they can neutralize the the effectiveness of Junkrat on Anubis. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Anubis is a pretty good far map, I think, but the Junkrat is worrying. Hopefully we'll see a Widow here. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be. We haven't seen a Widow yet, I think. No, we did. Um, oh, we did. That's right. On Ilias. On Ilias. 
No, actually, did we? Yes. Or were, they, or, or were they just showing it? No, no, no. They did go Widow. All right. They switched off of it. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say ready. Well, um, as, sounds uh, as, 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 chat, as chat has said, uh, Junkrat is effective on every map. That yes, is, that is that something is... you say, like every single cast. <laughs> that is certainly true. It's always a good time for Junkrat. <laughs> especially especially when with a buff. Good so. at it. <laughs> yeah, especially with a buff. Oh my goodness. Those two bombs. Insta death. <sighs> Let's see. So, sounds good to me is running on attack here. Um,. I do wonder why they prefer attacking first. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. I mean, like, when you... Either way, I'm not sure that there's really an advantage. But for some reason, I feel like defending first is an advantage. But I don't have any stats to back that up at all. So it looks like uh, Top 500k here is going to be running the Junkrat, of course. And the Winston. Otherwise, pretty standard. Sounds good to make currently has Widow picked, but uh, there's still 40 uh, seconds here. <laughs> yeah. Like Dude. watching their spawn to see if the Widow is gonna walk back or not. They do have Moth back on the Zarya and University on the Mercy. We've been swapping around who plays tanks and supports here quite a bit, I think. Yeah, I mean, when you drop the last two maps, um, it's just definitely tempting to make changes to your lineup. Yeah. Alright, let's see if they keep the Widow here. Looks like they so, might be. Like they are. Oh, they are. They're keeping it. He's on the Widow here. Hopefully the Winston... Junkrat spam is, uh, is coming out. Looks like Widow's gonna be on the ground here, trying to get a few picks, going up top. Oh, Zara gets caught in the trap, and the good old trap mine combo. Winston dives the Widow immediately. He's not able to do anything. They do take down Junkrat though, so maybe they can- oh, but Mercy's gonna res him, so... <laughs> Winston keeps diving the Widow. I think unless this Winston gets taken care of, Widow's not gonna be able to do much. And Widow does go down. Generally on this first point of Anubis, you run the Widow when you're running kind of like a full dive comp. And the idea is that you, you dive in with your tanks and in the, in the confusion, uh, your, your Widow is able to operate much more freely. Yeah, like right there, the D.Va was on the point and they all had to turn around. I think that would have been a good time. Uh, looks like Widow did get a pick on the soldier. He gets rezzed. Yeah, I think the Widow's gonna have to back off here as when gets as she gets dived oh. by Winston and goes down, actually. Yeah, to the soldier, actually. I think, uh, Adversity is hiding, hiding here. here. No kills. But Tom K is kind of getting pushed back to the point here, even though they have a pretty strong presence. Yeah, they're definitely holding the point here. Um, oh, Rocket Mirage coming from the back. Gets, gets Mercy. Mercy. But she, she does go down. And this is their time to push, though, but they lose their Mercy as well. And then D.Va gets taken out. So Zarya's like still on the point, push. but it's just 1v3 here. Widow's been kind of raining down shots uh, throughout this. Enemies and she's going to get evicted by Winston. Looks like Top 500k might be pushing back a bit. Oh, when, uh, Widow took down. It's immediately and, rest. Uh, yeah. Let's take out the Mercy first. Looks like they're still holding the point. Uh, well, Kyoshi has moved on to the, uh, onto the Reaper here. But they're going to they're gonna keep this... This Widow, um, I don't know how much the Widow is actually doing, unfortunately. Widow picks just aren't as valuable as they are they used to be, just due to the, the Mercy res. Yeah. As the rest of his team gets 
gets taken out. Um, they were trying to go through the top, top there, and it's soldier on top of actually kind of runs past the retreating members of Sounds Good and Mave before turning around and shooting them. <laughs> um, looks like Widow did switch off on a soldier here, so. Oh, and then sorry, gets taken out early and gets res. But uh, Sounds Good to Mave here is pushing. Yeah, they're kind of pushing of individually, like, my yeah, lord is going to just by. And this poor Zenyatta is just by getting themselves. destroyed by the Winston. I think this is a very messy push. I think they held on to the their previous okay, comp for too long. Mercy did pop Valkyrie there and was immediately taken out after. It's only the 13. Still has it. Oh, the graph comes out, but no one's here to pop him up. Oh, uh, Death Blossom comes Death out, comes but, out but gets nothing. Trans is a slightly too late. Uh, yeah, I think. I think that's gonna. Diva comes out. It's a one v three. Self destruct comes out. Oh, gets Ooh, three. Gets three. They might have How this. How did that happen? Oh my god. Soldier with attack visor comes out on top of the cave side, but they're all here. Wow, that diva bomb! That won them the point. That's amazing. I th Everyone, on the and what happened there? Was it? Uh, I think it was. Was there a Winston bubble on the point, and and they actually thought they thought that they would be protected from the the bomb if they were under the bubble and the bubble got popped. That, I don't know. The <laughs> half of the team was on the point. The other half was like under the bridge. Looks like uh, Sounds Good to Me is going to try to take advantage of this push, but Top 500 K is all here. Did I, did I say Top 500 Me? <laughs> top 500 Me. I don't know so anymore. Sounds good to K. <laughs> sounds good to K. Uh, the Reds gets popped there for the Winston who went down. Tire came out, but gets taken out by Reaper. And Reaper's taken out. And his uh, rest. They are pushing top 500k around here. Attack Visor comes out, comes but. Out from. Oh, from Sounds Good to Me. He's trying to get the Mercy, but. Transcendence Trans is top. Yeah, Trans very messy. Sounds Good to Me has lost one, lost two. They have to reset here, I think. Oh, the res comes out. I think that was. Res I mean, it, it could work, but. I think that's yeah, just... I think that's that's a that's throwing good money after bad here. I will watch over you. Oh, and then the Although other they Valkyrie. Do get, they do get the opposing Valkyrie. My ultimate is charging. Yeah, I was worried that that was just going to be late thing on time, but I guess it worked out. But both supports do go down for Sansku to me. They really, really should not be committing to this. My ultimate is charging. Looks like they're not going to. Mobs trying to get some charge there. Tar comes out, goes around, and Ooh. hits Mob. See if we're gonna see a res here. Yeah, yes, yeah. get the res. We don't want to wait the extra 20 seconds. I think uh, Zarya keeps the charge there as well, right? Or no, I don't. Think so. Well, I'm strong then. Uh, soldier goes down early. I'm not sure what soldier was. Yeah, Where? Mercy's not going to have reds at this point. They're doing the thing again where they're only half pushing. Uh, I think uh, Chaos Shade here is going to try to get a death loss up from above. He does? does? One. He also and they can kind of converge on the point, even yeah. though they, they approach from different sides. If Top Farmer here wanted to take advantage of that, they should have committed to, to taking out one side first as a group. But they stayed on the point, and so it didn't really matter that Sounds Good to Me took different routes. Yeah, I think uh, something else that was really interesting there was the, uh, the Ryan Earth Shatter came out, but he couldn't yeah. capitalize on it because he had to block the Death Blossom. And they're getting a lot of percentage on this point. Trans comes out. out. And then a res on the... Nope, no res comes out. Oh, Death Blossom's gonna clear them all out. He's a second Death Blossom? But both tanks are able to get to the point to contest, but it doesn't look good for them. 
Oh, it's over. Winston jumped off the point a little mm -hmm. too much. That was not a C9. I'm gonna stand <laughs> by that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think that's valid because. Switching uh, sides. I can't believe they like winning that fight there. They actually did a they they got both points here. I thought it was over in that last those last few seconds there on the first point. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's really interesting to see their their pushes. They're, they kind of they're split. They they go in different directions, but they somehow converge, and they somehow pull it out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane. Although the time bank they have here is is not particularly high, but it is important that they got it before uh, before overtime. Yes, that that gives them a second chance if. Yeah, they're guaranteed a second chance if they don't win it outright. That's good for them. Um, so it looks like uh, Sanskrit and May is defending now and are going to be running the same comp that they ended with here. Time to kill. Ruffle Mal is showing a Symmetra here. On attack? Eh, they have 30 seconds still. I don't know if we're gonna see this through. Well, you know, a caster can hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be really cool. Oh, no, they're not keeping no. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they're not running the junk right here, though. Well, I guess, again, like, getting through choke. Operations. But it's not like, uh, Sounds Good to Me has anything that's really it's gonna be hard to run through choke. I mean, it's possible they just failed. They just feel that. You know, they need Three, two tanks. Two, one. Attackers incoming. Capture objective. Okay, so it looks like uh, Top 500k is going to be running. They're running Azaria now. Azaria instead of Junkrat. And instead of Winston as well. I mean, it might be that they're running into kind of the rogue problem, where against weaker teams you can run triple DPS and do whatever you want, but against tougher competition you're going to beat that second tank. Yeah, looks like they're all trying to go top left and then reboot. Yeah, gets the uh, gets the Zarya on the side, even though he's rest. He also gets the, the Mercy, which is pretty big. Yeah, Nick came around and got a pick there on the soldier, I think. But uh, the rest of his team, actually, it seems like they're. I'm not. They're committing to this. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess okay, they're... Okay, has four on the point here. And, and they have the spawn advantage. Damn it. But they are getting get cleared out. No, they... The res does come out, and there's, they have five on the point. Six on the point now. Oh, and Chaos Shade comes out oh. with the Death Blossom. Ooh, oh, my goodness, he gets got... everyone. That wow. is huge. They were going to lose that. And just Again. like that. Just like that. Tide is turned. Oh, goodness. That's crazy. These All for huge... the price of one ult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, trying to look at the ults here to see. I think top 500k here is going to have Trans and Earth Shatter and Attack Visor, whereas Sounds Good to May just has the Mercy ult and maybe Attack Visor and Diva Bomb if Diva stays alive. Looks like uh, Sounds Good to Me is pretty split here, though. There's a few of them on the point, a few of them up on the high ground. But uh, Sounds Good to Me, both of them, both teams are split, really. Oh, Attack Visor comes out, but is countered by the, by the Earth Shatter. And goes down immediately. So, sounds Good to Me's side. I see a lot of red on the right side here, I think. This is going to... Uh, this time, the self-destruct does not get the result it did get last time. Looks like Diva might be able to stall a bit though, if she can get back on the point before it's too late. Yes. But it's gonna be 6v1 here, and top of her case is just gonna take this point. It was... There was no chance that, uh, that the T was gonna stop that there. Yeah, at least she got away. Um, I was wondering if she was gonna make it out. Fine. Ooh, Chaos Shade looks like he's getting ready for another drop down Death Blossom, but he doesn't have it yet. I wonder if he can get enough ult charge out. He drops down, 
Chess gets us, Chaos gets it. The Zenyatta. Oh, Grav comes oh, out. Grav comes out. But nobody but capitalized no follow up. They weren't able to bring the shield before that happened. Nobody was yeah. close enough to the grab anyway. It's also me. Hence gonna have to hold this for five, five minutes. Oh, Earth Chatter comes out, gets two. Res comes and out. Death Blossom gets three. Top Timer K. Looks like they're about even on the point though. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah they've lost a few before getting it to this point, and that's not. That's not generally what you want to do for 2 CP, because the respawns are coming out now. And with the transcendence. But the no kills are coming out the way of, of the sounds of the way. But a second grab already coming out from. No, oh, no I think that, that grab was. That's not top armor case. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, Chaos Shade got a few with his death awesome there. Yeah, top um, armor is going to have to reset here. They only have two on the point. I yeah, the, the trance there this. was interesting. I think it was a little late. Yeah, I think. And now that they don't have it anymore. My ultimate is ready. But uh, when you're in the heat of the moment, blood spawn thing. Yeah, just press Q. That's what I do. Like I'm gonna die, I should press Q, and then it's like I was the only one here. <laughs> I w press Q to win. I want to win. I'll press Q. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the whole like. uh... The cost for you very little. Um, looks like going into this next fight uh, sounds good to me. Uh, it's too old to now. Whereas top yeah, the old situations, poor, the old situation's economies are pretty even at the moment. Yeah, I think it's even too. Both teams are building ults right now more so than having them. It's like a try to push on this left side here. Kind of hesitating a bit though. They might die. just be trying to be poke, poking to, trying to poke to get some ult charge. Sounds good to me, seems to be collapsing on them from behind, but they're... Friendly are coming out. Come out. Yeah, I think uh, sounds good to me went behind them, quite a few of them, and ended up taking them all out there. Yeah, which is interesting because they didn't commit everyone to that to that flanking maneuver. So if Top Iron K were to just turn around and every you know and focus the people that that uh, that came up around behind, they should have won that fight pretty handily. But uh, the flank maneuver probably sowed a bit of confusion in their ranks. Yeah, they did end up taking a few, taking out a few people for Sounds Good to May on the on the point, but uh, the back lines were getting torn apart, so they couldn't sustain it. Uh, Chaos Shade has Death Blossom going into this next fight. He's back up yeah. in his favorite position. Yeah, both, they are not going down. I think they're going to have um, five, possibly six alts from Top Mark K. And the earlier push might have just been a dry push. Oh, Grab comes out. Can they, can they follow up here? They're following up with everything. Uh, Diva Bomb, Death Blossom. The ults. Counter ult comes out. But all the ults are coming out. Rez has come out. Attack Visor comes out. They're just gonna... Everybody press Q. Did anybody not press Q? I think uh, Nick is the only uh, one here. Nick's the only one still with, with an alt. And that might that might be important if they can stay alive through this uh Yeah, Nick's coming in here. Fight. Yeah, they, they... Oh! No, they lose two immediately. Nick presses Q, does take out adversity, but... But that's I think too sounds... little too late. Yeah. Wow, yeah, okay. He... He should have saved that probably, because at that point the fight was the fight was definitely Get lost. The moment Literally, they lost to everybody press Q except me. And this is gonna be the last fight coming in here. They now have uh, sounds good to me has time advantage here. Um, if Top Hunter K does end up capping this, uh, but they have no ult coming into this. Yeah, they, they're just gonna. Have, oh, and they they lose Ooh. three immediately to the Death Blossom. Oh, and, and they still have Pack Visor too. Oh, Chaos Shade is just tearing apart the back lines. Yeah, I think. He does go down, but, uh, but the only thing Ryan can do here is just to touch, really. <laughs> he may not even be able to do that. 
Um, it looks Nick like Nick was... <laughs> he either gave up or... I was about to say, it looked like he DC'd or something, because he was just standing there. I think he just gave up. Uh, the people on screen couldn't see it, but uh, Nick was just standing in a corner. Getting killed by a baby diva, I think. Um, so, the series is all even. We're gonna have to see our first game five. Yeah, this is the first game in, since the, uh, the bracket that did not go 4-0. Also, I think there uh, was a I think there was a three one right was there a three one I was there I thought they I thought they all nice went four zeros appreciated. I might be making that up I'm probably just making that up three zero I don't know why I'm saying I'm saying four zero because other tournaments have the four zero thing or the four uh I remember <sighs> enthusiastically making a comment in an earlier match about how this would be the first non three zero match that we have. Uh, I don't recall which match it was, but but this is certainly the first uh, match that's going to go to five games. And that's very exciting. This, this, both these teams are very strong and uh, very little separating the two at this moment. Looks like someone in chat saying there was one. I don't know. I can't remember the matches anymore. Uh, I can look at the... I can't quickly pull up the uh, the bracket standings right now. Looks like We Need Healing took a win before... Sorry, 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 I think? Uh, won the next three? Well, going to the last, last, uh, last map, it's going to be hybrid. Yes. So Nimbani is out. Um, we did clarify the rules earlier on that uh, if it were to go to if matches were to go to a fifth map, uh, that they cannot choose the same the same one as the second map. Looks like they're going with King's Row. Again, a very quick pick. There, well, I guess slightly slower than before. I guess uh, because. <laughs> King's Row is probably not not their go-to map like New Body is. Yeah, King's Row. I don't know. I feel I still stand by King's Row just being everyone's favorite pick. Yeah, everyone likes King's Row. It's uh, it's hard to find someone who doesn't like it. Yeah. You know, people in chat are asking why it's not King of the Hill, and honestly, I'm wondering that too. King of the Hill is the tie break, so if we have if we have draws in the in the five matches that result in, in an even score after five maps, then we go to King of the Hill for tie break. Yeah, I'm just wondering like why we're repeating. Like why why do we repeat uh, uh Um It's possible that um uh, it's because Apex does it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's just interesting that I think about how, like, we're repeating, like, hybrid instead of repeating King of the Hill, especially because hybrid does open up to ties. Yeah, the number of game modes that, that we have in Overwatch lends to some kind of awkward formats. Because in any best of five, you'll, you'll have certain map types more than others. And that's going to give certain advantages to certain teams over others. Which is why a lot of tournaments, like like contenders, like uh, like the World Cup group stages, uh, do the do the four maps, one of each type format. Yeah, I mean, I'm not arguing the rules at all. I'm just, oops, I forgot to say it was. All I'm right, just surprised. this one. This one is for uh, a large portion of the marbles. <laughs> the marbles. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, this is gonna be close. I don't. I think yeah, like I mean, there, there are some I high stakes that there. we're playing for here. You know, whoever wins this is gonna get is gonna be guaranteed to get a special MoMA badge on their profile. That's uh, you're right. Both first and second, first and second places get badges, right? Or is it just first? I think it's first and second. So we might be making stuff up again. So this is this, you know, this, this is a match that's that's going to determine who gets a MoMA badge, and that that is some very high stakes. 
Yeah. So it sounds good to me it's going to attack first here. And we're seeing a Widowmaker <laughs> and a Doomfist. But, uh, you know, doesn't mean anything on attack, I suppose. Try not to get yourselves killed out there. Yeah. I mean, King of the Hill is a Widowmaker attack map, for sure. But it's still too early to say. Looks like uh, they'll be running the Junkrat on defense, though. And again, King of the Hill is a great map for Junkrat on defense. I know you say any map is a Junkrat map, but like King of the Hill. Or sorry, not King of the Hill. Why do I keep saying that? Uh, King's I mean, Row. Yes, uh, pretty sure Sounds Good to Me knows this, but uh, they probably don't want to go through the hotel. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that kind of depends on where Junkrat sits up. Um, if yeah. they did watch the previous cast, though, hopefully they're prepared for this Junkrat on King's Row, though. Because, oh, ooh, maybe. Widow takes out Soldier immediately. But Probably see a res here, but rest. Mercy's got to be careful with that Widow. Looks like they are going through the hotel, and Reaper has already gotten trapped, but... But they do take out Junkrat early, which is basically what you would have to do if you wanted to go through hotel there. Hotel is just such a great spam environment for, for Junkrat. And Mercy didn't have res there to take out, uh, to help with the Junkrat. They just clean up. Yeah, they take out everyone. They are definitely getting this point. Um, they might be able to make it in time for a stall, but I don't know if it'd be worth it. Looks like they're holding back. They're not going to yeah, be doing they're, they're going to give it up here. Widow trying to get a few picks up there at the top. And soldiers trying to, trying to fight the Widow. Probably not the best idea, but I'm I'm guilty of doing that from time to time. Wait, doing what from time to time? Uh, <laughs> peeking widow at soldier. Oh yeah. Like uh, like ZX is doing here right now. Yeah, he's been taken out twice by the widow. I wonder at what point he starts to show some respect, I guess. But it looks the like widow's a gonna switch widow off. switch off. Yeah. Chaos Shade is going to come around to the side here for a flank. Trying to take out the drunk right here. Has to back out though. They did get a lot of push though on the cart. Took it all the way up to the second corner here. But the second corner is not not a terrible place to hold for your first hold. No, it's not. That soldier's going to be a little bit isolated, but he does get out. Chaos Shade takes out the Mercy with his best blossom. Oh, but Winston dove the back lines and took out Zenyatta. He's been taken out. Comes out. Looks like, uh, sounds good to me here is gonna be able to push them back. There's only three of them here left on the point. Two. Halo's just gonna keep moving and there's only... There's just the... The Zenyatta. I'm not sure if the Valkyrie there was necessary. Yeah, the Valkyrie, I think, uh... But I, it might still... Oh, no, I mean... It's clear now it wasn't necessary, but at the time, maybe. I mean, there were only three of them on the point, but eh. This new Mercy is great for tempo reses. Uh, maybe Mercy didn't have res and felt like it was necessary to keep the momentum going, but it's like, uh, even though Sounds Good to is all here, they're not contesting the payload yet. Yeah, they, they finished Street Phase very, very quickly. They're gonna have full five minutes to take the third point. They're already halfway through with this payload. You know, I didn't know Soldier could get up there. Yeah, um, you can actually do a rocket jump from the payload itself. Huh. It's really specific. But, uh, looks like Top 100K is gonna be holding this here, and Soldier's stuck up there now. Yeah, the Valkyrie comes out. out. Very difficult to kill Mercy in that state. As you can see, the Soldier's been trying to do that, but, uh,. With the regen, with with the flying movement, with with the super fast Guardian Angel, it's just almost Luke impossible. Comes out. Off the ground too. Tac visor comes out on a, a flanking Tac visor wrap around from Top Hammer and K is going to take out two, and the rest of the team's going to clean up. It sounds like man, they're going to hold at this corner here. Steve is going to need to get out. Yeah, uh, he was not stalling anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just a stagger there. 
<laughs> stalling her own team. Well, I mean, maybe she feels she has, they no, have time to so spare. Four yeah, minutes. I mean, they do. They have four <laughs> minutes. They pushed through the second phase. I mean, both phases were ridiculously fast. And they've already made it halfway to the last phase now. It's like Chaos Shade's getting ready to drop down for another one of his. But it's found out by the, uh, by the Junkrat. He's forced to back off. Was he found out by the Junkrat, or was Junkrat trying to get up there too? I think he was like, just, uh... I think he was trying to get up there for the tire. Yeah. He also has a tire, but he doesn't get anything with it. Oh, Chaos Shade jumps down for Death Blossom, but it's... The trance, the trance, the quick reaction of the, uh, Zenyatta there saved the team. And Chaos Shade gets rezzed after getting taken out. But it's stuck in a pretty bad position, I think. But they are starting to take out Top Harmony Decay, they might. I think they're gonna be able to push this. Yeah, there's a few trades coming out. Top Harmony Decay does have the spawn advantage here, but uh, yeah. they are getting a lot of push Dalsman here. Dalsman may need to reset here, because the respawns are coming back, and they, they, they're not equipped to take care of My to take out the whole team here. It looks like Tac oh, Visor came Tac out. Tac comes out from behind. The counterattack visor comes out and takes out two, and this is really messy. Oh, Look, they both failed. Let's pay Just push it. Oh, Ooh. sounds good to me. It's, it's uh, they would have had it if they didn't all leave. I think they're, they're in a good position here. They could, they could probably take this if they get, get the kills in fast enough. It's just a soldier here from Tom K here. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, comes out. That oh, awesome comes out. Yeah. Gets no one and. Sounds good to me. Wow. Finish out the map. That's really fast. 219. It could have been faster if it weren't for if it weren't for a few uh, boss fights there. Well, that the and like and, at the very and end. The fact of... that, yeah, and, and the, the diva was staggered, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, yeah, and at the end there, if they had kept a single person on the payload, I think they wouldn't have had. Uh, they would have gotten it before the tracer came in to stall for a, like. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but I think they would have had it with like two and a half minutes left. Yeah, I mean, um, with, with the distance between these, you know, with how close these two teams are playing, you know, every every little every second is going to count. Yeah, and having two minutes left is that's crazy. I think uh, top five hundred K is really going to have to to push this. I think they're going to need to end it with a similar time bank in order to really make this even. But it would not surprise me if they end up getting this in like with only like a minute left and still end up winning. I think either team really can get this at this point. Yeah, I think um, as long as they, always be the solution. I think as long as Top Hunter K finishes with with about a minute left, they have a good chance because two minutes is still long enough to full hold first point. Yes, and it's it's not unreasonable. Like, like if it were four minutes, then. You know, you're not going to expect to hold first point that long. Oh, it looks like they're asking for a pause. Possibly some technical issues. Or maybe someone got paged. Like we yeah. have in our, in our <laughs> <spam>. <laughs> Oh, it looks like it was microphone it was problems microphone and it's been solved. <laughs> yeah, when we were scrimming against... Uh, was it Sorry Sorry Sorry? We, uh, I, think, yeah, I think it was Sorry Sorry Sorry. Yeah. Someone got paged. Because it was on call. I had to roll back a CL. <laughs> and then Jippy had the worst internet issues in the world for a single match. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Five, four, I'm glad three, that that pause happened two, before the match, though. One. Yeah. Pause it in the middle of the match. Emergency. Very, very disorienting. Yeah, and if 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 if, if after after the M pause, like the fight's just a stomp, and you're just left wondering, well, would that have happened? Had we not paused? Yeah, looks like top. The composition K's. from top iron case looks like it's going to be about the same. Yeah, they all uh, they all went off and then Winston and Reapers that like stuck behind a little bit. Uh, curious why they didn't just go with the rest of the team because they didn't. Oh, it looks like Reaper is on the point getting some picks here, but Mercy gets taken out from top iron decay. Actually, it looks like the Reaper being on the point is a good call there. Uh, while the rest of Sanskrit may collapse up top, he was able to take down the people on the point. 
Yeah, and Top Farm K is just gonna clean up here. Heroes never die for a price. And they take the first point about as fast as that sounds good to me. Take took theirs. Wow. Stop the payload. Boosters engaged. Oh, <laughs> soldier gets taken out though. Is the res gonna come out on this? You did just res the wind. I'd be surprised if she already had a res. Uh, but the diva has long spawn for uh. Sounds good to me. She's gonna take some time to get back here, and they don't have a frontline tank or anything. She does. She's able to rejoin her team. Both, both a soldier on top of her team and the diva. Sounds good. Like have a full fight here, but yeah, she comes out with Death Blossom, gets them the mercy. And are they gonna follow up here, get aggressive, and get the extra picks there? Well, it looks like they are. They at least got the one, and that's gonna stagger them a bit. At least. Yeah, they're. And Top arm case will have to back off here. Ooh, and then Zara takes out Soldier. Yeah, I'm not sure you would want to use Res in that situation for Top Iron K because you still have to wait for the for the Soldier. Yeah, I was surprised about. Well, the Soldier I think got Res or died right after the Res, so I think she was resing to start like initiate the push. Uh, and it was unfortunate that Soldier died immediately afterwards, but um, it looks like Ryan is trying to push here on his own and being a little successful with that. Uh, Winston dove in, got destroyed. And, and Rez! Ooh, and then a really big Earth Shatter and... He's just gonna get everyone. Yeah, that took everybody Soldier out. Soldier on Sounds Good to Me is gonna pop attack visor if he gets no one. Oh, this looks very familiar to me. Oh yeah, this is a... Uh, having flashbacks. <laughs> Popping tech oh, visor when your entire team is dead. Yes. Ah, feels bad. Feels bad. Chaos Shades over Chaos here. Chaos Shades kind of caught. Stuck. <laughs> caught in the back lines here. <laughs> Maybe he's waiting but for. But they need awesome. to. Sounds good to me. Is probably gonna want to test here. If they can win here, that's just actually a really good place to hold the point. Ooh. He only got one visor. Attack, but... And is immediately rezzed. Valkyrie yeah, comes out fun. from top frame with K. And Heroes never die for a price. They are gonna win this. They're likely gonna win this uh, team fight. Yeah, the mercy went Take down. Point two. Cash shade still solid. contesting, but goes down. And it's just a diva on this point here. Can she stall long enough to allow her point, allow her team to get back? No. It looks like no. They're gonna take point two. Heroes never die. With four minutes left. The far at this point. I think. Uh, Winston goes pretty main. deep here. Um, hopefully he doesn't get stuck. <laughs> the mercy is gonna cut. Cu the mercy was kind of in a really bad spot there. If sounds like it could have perhaps capitalized on it, they could have taken out early. So uh, top 500 k is getting a lot of free push here. They've already made it halfway here. Three minute forty two seconds. Zara gets taken down by Reaper. They're on basically the same pace that that sounds like they were. Sound Bear comes out. Death Blossom came out but didn't get anybody. Uh Graf comes out but there's Ooh, the bomb. The self destruct ooh. But the Rhine game. The Rhine Shield does its job. Valkyrie comes out for Sounds good to me. Attack Visor is going to come out for top armor K, but is unable to get the Mercy, because typically when you pop Pfizer there, you want to get the Mercy first, because that she's just doing so much healing and getting the reses out so fast. I'm curious to see why uh, top armor K like, continued to push this, and even committed the Earth Chatter there, when it was only the Rhine and the Winston. Uh, just interesting, but... Yeah, they, they probably didn't, I mean... It's quite often you don't realize that you've lost the fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Similar to the attack I earlier. Winston is diving and trying to get some mercy. Sounds good to Maze. Has a good amount of... Has a... It's two ults and... And had been, Did have trans almost ready, but... Uh, but he's gonna get res and they're gonna have three ults. Uh, Nick here is consistently going in and taking out Zaro in the back line. I think, uh... Ooh, Chaos Shade comes out with the Mercy again with, 
because that's but, bottom, but then it's taken out. That's a trade. They are keeping top 500k back though. Nick is trying to get Zaro once again, but is taken care of this time. By Zaro, actually. Revenge, maybe. The top 500k is going to have to reset to push again. And they already have less of a time bank than Sounds Good to May. And Sounds Good to May has quite a few ults built up here. They're going to have something to combo with this grab here. They're about to have. Yeah, they're, they're going to have five ults. Against, uh, well, Top of Primary K is, is gonna get five ults, uh, four ults, and possibly five soon. If they do a dry push here and try to get some ults out of Sounds Good to me. But they're just gonna the use blossom. the Death Blossom to get two kills. They're not gonna be able to grab it. Oh, the grab actually might still come out. Here oh, it comes. Grab out. Comboed with a Diva Bomb. And gets, gets two. two. Grand Shield was not able to protect everyone since it was grabbed onto the payload there. Lots of reses coming out on, uh, sounds good May side. <laughs> Adversity goes and takes out Reaper in the backline. Battle there. Mercy. Yeah, it's, it's a Valkyrie Battle Mercy. Uh, looks like, uh, sounds good to May is still have two ults here. They don't have any of their defensive support ults, though. Uh, two ults on each side. And Talfire Kid really has to make something happen here. And even if they get the point now, they're likely not to have. Oh, Chaos Shade with a huge Death Blossom gets three. And they just oh, yeah. clean up Talfire to Cave. 12 seconds left. I don't know if they're Can they even touch it to contest for overtime? Sounds good to me, it's gonna get push up. And victory is within their reach. Oh, there's no way McCree's- Oh! Winston makes it though, nobody's there to contest it for now. There's only three on the point for now. Overtime is started. self Short comes out, gets nothing. It sounds good to me, takes out two. It and takes it's though. desperation time for Tough Iron and K. Overtime oh, is taking it. down, and that is it! Sounds good to me, we'll be moving forward to the finals. Sounds good May wins, and we are going to have an all May final. Oh man, I'm so excited for all the May jokes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Versus Sounds Good to May. For the final of Google Watch 2017. Um, real quick, I wanted to mention that uh, we sent out a feedback form on the about the tournament, so anybody who participated in it, please do fill that out so that the committee members can hopefully plan an even better one this time. Just wanted to plug that, so check your email and fill that form out. In the meantime, who do you guys want us to interview? Probably... Hmm. Probably Chaos Shade, I think? But we interviewed him last time that they won. Looks like people are saying Diva. Two people are saying Diva. Diva or Chaos? Diva. Everyone's asking for Piglet. Piglet. The MVP. <laughs> okay. Cool. Let me PM Piglet a Discord. We will interview Piglet. Okay, cool. So I sent it over to Piglet. So Piglet should be here soon. Uh, yeah, make sure you guys have some questions 
lined up here that we can kind of see here. Trying to click here. Uh, Piglet's having a uh, issue with it. You should fill some of the time while I figure this out. Say things. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean that that was just an amazing match. I mean, back and forth, uh, and. Let's see, what what were the results? It was, uh... Sounds Good to May took the first one. Top Finger K took the next two. Sounds Good to May won the next one to... with, you know, amazing plays on, on Anubis to, to, to force a, a map five. And then, uh... And, 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 and you know, that, that was also a pr you know, very close map. Um... Deciding you know, with with the payload, with both payloads getting almost you know, both both payloads uh, getting past the second point, it was fairly exciting stuff. I am trying to figure out stuff with Piglet still. Yeah, I really wish we had um, you know replay capabilities. You know, I know <laughs> showing it would be clips. Amazing. It would be like, oh, you see here. Like especially when we were all like really confused about that diva bomb, it would have been amazing to be able to be like, hey, can we like get a replay on that? Yeah, <laughs> instant replay. Uh... Okay, it looks like Piglet's Ooh. here. Hi, Piglet. Hi. Sorry, it took me a while to figure out how to get on here. No, it's totally fine. I'm collecting questions real quick, so you can start Luxury. Yeah, so first question, uh, how's it feel? Feels pretty good. I, uh, a game like that. I was uh, intimidated by all the, uh, the hype and just watching the last game from Top 500k. I don't think they'd... I was worried going into it, but... I mean, it was a close game, um, so yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, uh, there's a bunch of things, right? There's there's the fact that um, you know they were undefeated, right? All the hype, you know, you handing them their first loss. Um, you know, you go into the finals, and the finals are going to be against sorry, sorry, sorry. And it's going to be an all May themed all May final. <laughs> I mean, that 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 is the most important part. I feel. I mean that. Uh, yeah, no, I, the, jokes, um, the jokes that we'll be able to make, you know, is, it's getting me really excited here. Weeble and Bob on the sorry, sorry, sorry. You was the we were on the same team uh, before. I think you mentioned um, he was looking forward to it. Yeah, so it's going to be local. We're both up and uh, it'll be good. Wait, did you guys work on the same team like at work? Anyone's going to be able to yeah. make it in time? Oh, awesome. That's crazy. You guys are going to have like this very long-standing rivalry. Yeah. It's like, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. We, the only way we were going to meet each other is if we made it to the finals, so we got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty cool, yeah. Does the rest of your team know? I mentioned it to him just now, but uh, I don't think they were. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Obviously, the thing on everybody's mind is the diva bomb on Anubis. I was total. I was desperate, like, no, I got to save something. <laughs> oh, just and I was like, I got an old, and I got because I, I've been as everyone probably noticed, use my ults way too often. I was like, just gotta keep myself alive. But I was like, I'll hold this one back, and then we died, and I was like, oh crap, we're gonna lose it. So just like, just do something. And I don't think I was thinking at all. Just like throw it in there, and it, and it worked out. But <laughs> credit for it. <laughs> that one, you guys, the game, I think. That was, that was insane. Everybody in the chat was like, what just happened? How did, yeah, how did your team react to it? Yeah, that was when my, my, uh, my voice was going in and out, so I wasn't sure what everyone was, was saying at that time. I was like, yeah, we did it. So. 
<laughs> I thought we were totally lost at that point as well. I was like, wait, I, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those like winnable, winnable. What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's winnable? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. It's like there, there were so many big plays on, on Anubis. I mean, that, that was really. Oh yeah, that was really a, a turning point for you guys. I felt because because you won the first map, but but the next two um, you lost. Like, could you talk a little bit about you know what was going on, like mentally with the team? Like, what was the atmosphere like? Yeah, it did know, feel um, like we were getting a little bit uh, distracted, trying out different things, seeing what would work, and and none of them was really coming together for us. Is and you know, we lost the the two in a, in a row, um, and it definitely. Um, Top 500k was top notch. Trying to, they were they were definitely shutting us down in, in ways we couldn't figure out. So, uh, I think uh, with Anubis, we we realized an opportunity to maybe get a, a little better use out of the fair and and um, or come back to kind of what worked for us before. So, yeah, I was actually surprised that you picked Anubis because you know top 500k runs a junk rat. And Anubis is fairly good for Junkrat, but you were able to. I think Junkrat actually didn't give you that much trouble because, at least for the first pushes, you were able to take him out relatively quickly. Was that a concern to you guys? <laughs> Sorry, what was the last part? Uh, just whether whether the whether the the Junkrat on Anubis was a concern to you guys at all? Because uh, he is I think in, in general we were very concerned about the Junkrat and, and often tried to you know focus him first so that uh, we didn't have to worry. Uh, he certainly felt like he got me out of my mech quite a lot. So, But yeah, it, with uh, focusing first, it did, didn't feel like a major problem um, once we got him out of the picture. But um, you know, I, I, it, it still feels like total luck that we won that last one where I dived in with the with the old bit. Um, yeah, because yeah. you know, if, if you hadn't gotten that, they would have held, full held you. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. <laughs> Uh, let's see any questions from the chat? Oh yeah, I have a whole bunch saved up. So uh, we were just talking about the the Fara, and one of the questions was, how did you guys decide who would run Fara? You kept switching players on uh, who would run the Fara, who would run tank. I don't know if there was a method to our madness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I tend to always do D.Va, because that's what I'm, I'm really good at. Uh, and I was like, should I switch something else? Like, oh, we're going to switch back and forth. And um, um, each team member has their, their own uh, preferences and, and abilities. So I, I'm, I wasn't paying too much attention to how they were making those calls. It, it didn't sound like there was a, a defined method to figuring that out. <laughs> yeah. I see. Um... Let me see. Another one was related to your diva play. Um, how do you do? You prefer the new diva or the old diva? I'm definitely still getting used to the new diva. I I tend to boost straight through people still, <laughs> which I don't know if that's a good thing because it might throw them off instead of stopping before right in front of them as I used to. Um, I do like the mini rockets, and I think they make a difference when I'm like diving to mercy or or trying to take someone out. But um, certainly not being able to stop reaper ults or or uh, soldier ults is is a challenge, and I end up losing my mech more often than I think than I did before. But it, it still feels like it mostly works. Okay. Um. Next question is, uh, how do you feel about the All May Grand Finale? Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, funny that we both came up with you know May May. Uh, May teams, May team names. So, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome that uh, both May teams ended up making it all the way to the end. I do have teams. to say though, for for teams that are May themed, no one seems to play May. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there might have been one round maybe where we ran a May. Otherwise, I don't think we we do any May at all. I don't think. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Doesn't either, do they? Uh, I don't think we've seen a May from Sorry, Sorry, Sorry. Yeah, I don't think we've seen them either. <laughs> right, but same you know, thing with like Mata Mata. Nobody played Genji. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Next question is: Are you guys ready for the Bastion? 
that's one of my biggest concerns. I've even talked with uh, Weeble and Bob. It's like, yeah, you guys are going to melt us when we try that. <laughs> We're going to have to try and figure out how to get through that. Yeah, I think uh, the chat was saying that nobody is ready for the Bastion, and I think I, think I agree with that there. Um, <laughs> Weeble's Bastion is very scary, especially the way the team plays around it. Right. And with the we even... Oh, sorry. No, I was just saying with the old even maybe could have you know set up something where I eat the the his his charge for a bit and then uh, someone comes around or something. But now with the there's no way to do that with the new May. So or sorry with the new Diva. Um. So. The yeah. Diva been something, but yeah. Dashin just kind of left there to do whatever he wants at this point. <laughs> um. A good match either way. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. I mean, at this point, all of the teams that made it this far were really good, and watching this match was, like, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, I had no idea which team was going to win, especially because you guys kept going back and forth. So, yeah. crazy. Um, so, I think I have two more questions, which is, uh, what kind of strategies did you guys use, if you had any, or if you know of any? Um... It seemed like when we tried to call out strategy was when we did the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it might have been part because I, I think I lost uh, my Discord connection at one point. I was like, everyone's really quiet. All right, well, I'm just going to go with this. Um, and it, it felt like we were doing pretty good. Um, I mean, we did try and stick together and, and call things out like, okay, let's go this way. And then um, call out who's focused and things like that. But uh, I don't know that we have a specific uh, strategy per se. Okay. And then uh, the last one is obviously a joke question, but it has to be asked. And the question was, how heavy was Chaos Shade to carry? <laughs> Uncarryable. Too heavy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, congrats on the win. Um, did you have any other questions for him, Luxury? Um, no, I, mean, I just want to say congrats on the win. Any, yeah. any shout-outs you want to do? Thanks so much. Thanks for your um, top 500k. It was a great match. Um, thanks for casting, you guys. And uh, yeah. do you want to? Do you have any shoutouts for the uh, for sorry, sorry, sorry here? Yeah, anything you want to say to your uh, to your to your to the finals, your finals uh, opponents, especially the Weeble, <laughs> since you know coworker. Yeah, I don't know that I have anything. Uh... <laughs> We're. <laughs> Trying to start drama here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how how easy do you think they will be to fight? <laughs> oh man! Um, <laughs> for you, sorry, sorry. Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is that. Awesome <laughs> you guys better get ready. Um, yeah, I mean, awesome! I can't wait All for right. the finale and see how that ends up. This is going to be very exciting. Yep, it'll be awesome. Okay. Right. Well, thank you. Um, we have. Uh, I think we have. We have a few members from from Top Top K here in the room. Uh, both of whom are on mute. I think. Yeah, they were probably just muted to. Uh, They're but... gonna sign up. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations again. again. Great games, man. Okay. Let me think. Uh. So we have, um, I think this is a very messy push, getting everything. I think they held hey. on. Did you guys introduce yourself? She did pop yeah, five uh, there and just immediately uh, take power after it. That's so cost only 13. Oh, the graph is up, but no one's here to pop them up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Eli, you wanna... Yeah, I'm, I'm the Dudger Knot. Uh, I played mostly Zen and Lucio. Um... Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think the biggest thing I have for you guys is you were very committed on the Junkrat, um, which I think was definitely like a good pick. You guys got a lot of use out of the Junkrat most of the time. Um, when did you... Did you guys ever feel like it wasn't working? And like how... I mean, you guys switched off a few times, so how did you... How did you decide when to run it and when not to run it? Um... I think in general, on my myself as a Junkrat player, I feel it 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 works half of the time, and the other half it 
doesn't work. Uh, I think mostly like Piglet said that uh, they you know focus the, the Junkrat and then they have the Diva shield as well as the Zarya bubbles, which are both strong to some extent a counter to Junkrat. And then, but then, uh, so I, I, I also use the Wingstand Zarya, but then it feels like we don't have enough damage, especially when, but when Nick goes Reaper, I think we're good. But then the fact is that uh, their Reaper, the Chaos Shade is uh, also strong counter to Wingstand. Yeah. So it's, we're, so personally, I'm in, in a little bit of dilemma. <laughs> so, but uh, since our, in general, our team relies more on Junkrat's damage and uh, the ult. So I tend to say Junkrat a little bit more in this case. Yeah, I mean, I think you guys worked around the Junkrat quite a bit, which I think is impressive, personally. Um, I feel like Junkrat is a little harder to work around with, since he's considered like an off-meta pick. People aren't used to running it. Uh, thanks. Uh, I think Junkrat in this version is actually not too bad. I mean, he's... Uh, mobile, and then usually he can just get out of the trouble pretty easily. But today, I think I made some mistakes. So I was dying, yeah. especially the, the clutch diva bomb. I actually had a concussion mine right below my feet. I, I think I missed the jump and somehow I died. Otherwise, <laughs> I might have got that. But yeah, uh, uh, again, I think junk rate is, is, is OK in, in this meta. Uh, but the thing that works against that is the mercy change. Where you know, so if you so in our last match we used to to junk card match junk card out and then we pick like one or two. I mean, one is good enough for us to get, have a very good team fight later on. In this case, again, right, uh, some, uh, the other team is super good. That's that's one issue, and the, the second issue is that once I got one pick and then it's it's easy to be re rest. So it's basically there's no impact of junk card out. So there's some. That's just uh, our feeling to have a junk rat. Uh, I had a question about, um, we noticed that, that you picked Numbani very quickly. And we were speculating whether or not you had you know, any kind of set strategies or you, you practice a lot on that map. Like, what, what was the thinking there? Mm. We had not practiced it explicitly. Uh, we hadn't played it yet in the tournament. But I think who who was it that called that out? Do you remember? Someone was like, uh, "It's our on. it was our soldier." I uh, soldier seventy six. Okay. Uh, Do you remember what his reasoning was? Uh, I think uh, uh, basically we try to avoid uh, because we're running a Rhine comp like most of the time, so we try to avoid uh, maps that have a uh, more high ground. Nubani probably is one of them, especially after passing the first point, I guess. So. Yeah, I, I think that's one general rule of thumb we are kind of using to select maps. Yeah, but Nubani, I, I, I actually didn't remember exactly why. But yeah, it turns out to be good. <laughs> we knew we wanted to stay off of Hollywood. Yeah. Um, I have a question from the 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 chat, which is, uh, what do you think changed in the second two games that allowed Sounds Good to May to get an advantage? I feel like every game was just like on a knife's edge, and so it kind of swung back and forth. Um, I mean, I think the the Diva Bomb on map three was certainly a blow, but <laughs> we were we were keeping it up. Uh, we were keeping morale high, I think. So I don't know. Yeah, what what, what was going through? Like what? I mean, like, uh, yeah, I, I know it probably doesn't feel good, but you know, <laughs> how did it feel when you saw that that Diva Comp bomb come out? I was running back from spawn, and I was just like, "What? <laughs> what was that?" Yeah, that that bomb caught everybody off guard because at that point we had already called that you guys were winning, like you guys had gotten that point, um, and then the bomb came out, and I feel like I feel like that changed the the entire outcome of the game. Yeah, no, I think we lost the map on that, or at least lost the full hold on the first point on that. Um, some other interesting things, uh, specifically on Anubis, I remember 
you guys made a few pushes on the left side, and uh, sounds good to me. This was when you guys were attacking. Sounds good to me. Kind of collapsed on you guys from behind. Um, how how did that like? How did you guys handle that? Because it seems like uh, some of you would kind of push forward, and then everyone else kind of got pushed back, and it kind of caught me off guard to see uh, to see them like come at you from behind like that. Because that's not something I've seen before. Yeah, I feel like uh, because having a Ryan on our team, we're basically a little bit committed to having a, like most people stay together behind the shield and then do a push and then towards the point. Uh, with that, I think the Reaper kind of interrupting us, pushing and separating the front line, back line is definitely a, a problem. And I think we didn't react fast enough. So I think we were taking the same path twice with the Reaper dropping down from the same place. But I guess with with the our comp, I, I mean, especially uh, with the Ryan. So either we go mid, and then Reaper stay on top, or we go left, or we go right, which will have the same problem unless we change our comp to like Winston Diva and so on, so we can have a more scattered. So that's my personal feeling. Yeah, I guess you guys were really committed to the Ryan. Um, did you guys ever discuss like switching that? up because i can't i don't recall if you guys switched off ryan or not i think we were running on ryan yeah so we we did some practice with ryan that we had a, we had some pretty good feeling about it. and actually today i think we, we're running most of most of the time it's pretty good it's just yeah. the as, uh, the other sounds good to me they're a really good team so it's you know it... i mean both yeah, teams think... are really good so yeah <laughs> thanks our ryan yeah. player also played a lot of diva and i think the the diva changes were yeah, he, I know he doesn't nerf, like the he actually yeah. doesn't like the diva nerf, the diva change. So he's a kind of nerf. I think that's understandable. Yeah, but I think in general we, uh, I think our we, I I like our teamwork, but it's just uh, the edge. Uh, sometimes it just uh, doesn't hint towards us. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean it was, was it was huge. a very it was very close, very close match. Yeah. Also, our, I think. Uh, we are, so we know Kale Shade is uh, one of the best DPS out there. So we tend to focus him and then our, many of our strategies build uh, around uh, like how to counter him if he pick Reaper, Farron, and uh, Kenji. But it, it turns out that the other DPS and mostly, you know, all their team members are doing good job. So it, I think that's our pain point. So while some of our teammates are kind of uh, Shouting out about the Reaper, the other members on their team just do enough damage or, or pick up kills. So it's a little bit hard to, to counter. Well, I don't really have any other questions. Um, any statements you guys want to make? Any shout outs? Yeah, I think uh, congratulations uh, very much on the to the to sounds good to me, and I also I'd like to thank all my teammates. I think we 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 have been uh, amazing team, and we had a lot of fun. And thanks a, a lot for casters and organizers for sure. Thanks a lot. Yeah, everything that was awesome. I had so much fun. That's good to hear. Um, and of course, like I know you guys ended up losing this one but you made it to the semifinals and that's that's nothing that's nothing to be uh ashamed of so you guys did a great job this game was extremely close so congrats for making it this far and then i'm glad to hear you guys had fun thanks and good yeah. luck on uh to sounds good to me on the final match yep. <laughs> is that who you're going to be reading for <laughs> 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 We'll see. We'll see. All this, all this, <laughs> I, I, I was prepared for the Bastion as Junkrat, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been really cool to see. But Maybe yeah, you guys yeah. can just scrim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We might do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they still need scrim partners. All right, okay. I gotta head out. Thanks, guys. All right. Cool. This thank great. you. Thank, thanks, yeah, guys. thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. All right, and that concludes our, our broadcast for tonight. Good night, everyone.
Good night, chat. <laughs> Good night, chat. Don't forget to fill out the form if you participated. Um, I forgot to mention, but there's a Winston plushie on the line here. Someone is going to win that, so incentive here to fill out the form. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and look forward to the finals at some unannounced date in the future.